Hey everyone, we have a wrap up, wrap up kind of video today. Today is all of the products, or almost all of the products that I have reviewed in the last three months. So this is the summer collections. Now I usually do like a best and worst, but what I wanted to do today is a little bit different. I'm literally gonna go through everything. It's gonna be a speed review kind of thing. I'm gonna break it down by brand. Let's start with Byredo. Byredo Mineral Scapes. I do have one of these shades on right now. I believe it has just popped up and is available again. This is probably my favorite palette of all time. If this, if something beats this, I don't know what it's gonna be. Um, when I say palette of all time, I mean like a big palette. I love this one. I think it's absolutely perfect for me. I love cool tones. I love blues. I love greens. I think it's great for a neutral. You can put you know, pretty much anything you want in it. Uh, anything you want with it. Uh, if you like cool tone neutrals, and now uh, the only drawback is that you get fingerprints all over it, but that doesn't really bother me. This is a phenomenally good product. If you like cool tone, neutral, cool tone neutrals, this is a must have. That's just my opinion. Okay, next, Sweet Beauty. I have been going on about Sweet Beauty now <laughs> four months, and I'm probably gonna continue to go on about Sweet Beauty because they have absolutely excellent products and pretty reasonable prices in my opinion. They did come out with uh, some new shades of uh, existing products, but now I'm just talking about you know products that have came out for the summer. One is their uh, Glass Skin Foundation. This is an excellent foundation. I did an entire video, hopefully I'll remember to link it, but probably not, on um, tinted moisturizers and like which one was right for you. I did include this in that video. Although it says foundation, it's more of a tinted moisturizer than anything else. Love this product, think it's excellent. Um, it's not my favorite though. My favorite we'll get to in a minute, but it is a very good product and I do like it. Second thing that they came out with that was new was their uh, foundation, their powder. So this is their Miracle Powder. I have it in Fair. I do not have any powder on my face because I did want to show you this. I think this powder won't get as much hype because Sweet doesn't have as much of a presence, but honestly, if you like a highlighting powder, it's a beautiful powder. It doesn't accentuate dry parts, it's it's really, really good. Again, Sweet hits it out of the park with practically everything they do. I've gone on continuously about the mascara, I won't talk about it again. Their lip pencil, lipsticks, whatever they wanna call them, are absolutely fantastic as well, and they do have new shades of these. Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty came out with their um, powder blushes. These are highlighting blushes. I bought them in four different shades. Hope is probably my favorite shade, although they're they're all really good. These are very highlighting blushes. These are not for somebody who's looking for a, you know, <laughs> a matte blush. Um, I, I would think that would be fairly obvious, but I just wanna say, I love these. I already have too much makeup on as it is, but you can just see how highlighting they are, how bright they are, how beautiful they are. The texture is amazing. I don't think it over accentuates uh, texture if you're concerned about that. I think it's just a great, great product. But again, I do want to say, if you're somebody who likes a matte blush or even a soft matte blush, they're not for you. They're very highlighting. That's <laughs> just the nature of the product. Prada. Prada did not come up with their um, lipsticks, uh, hyper matte and uh, soft matte lipsticks in the last couple months, but their balms. Their balms they did come out with and specifically their color changing balm and their universal balm. Here is the blue one, which I did have on at the beginning um, as I was uh, putting on my makeup today. This turns a really good pink on me. It is the one color changing balm, gloss, whatever that I like. Every single other one I've ever tried, including all the Tom Ford ones, sorry Tom Ford, we'll get to that in a minute, they turn a yucky pink on me. They, I've seen them on other people and they look great. On me, not a good shade. But the blue one in the Prada is mm, chef's kiss, beautiful. However, it does have a red dye in it. So if you have problems with red dye, that's probably out for you. The green one, however, the green shade, which is the universal shade, which just looks like clear balm, that does not. So absolutely love the Prada lipsticks. They're the Prada hyper mattes that are gonna be in the, in the Nordstrom sale. Um, to be honest with you, those are the ones that I'm like, must have, must have. Victoria Beckham, new shade of her eyeliner. I do have it on. This is Seafoam. She also came out with a new brow, brow product. I have not tried it yet, so I can't talk about it. But this is Seafoam Green. Absolutely love the shade. As you Gourlan, meteorites. Uh, they changed the scent, which a lot of people are very mad about. 
I actually am okay with the change of scent um, because I actually like the new scent just fine. But that's because I'm a sandalwood person, so I, I'm okay with it. But I will just tell you right now, I'm not happy with Girl On. They changed their Rouge G lipsticks. I don't know what to say about that. I still haven't bought the new ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm still annoyed. Um, putting that out there. E. Saint Laurent. They came out with two different types of like lip products, and my video is coming soon. Uh, lip balm. They basically renamed. These are Love Shines. Um, I absolutely love these products. They are great. Glossy, balmy, gone in five seconds as a product. They came out with like a balm version and then they came out with the glossy lipstick version. I think both are great. I, you know, honestly have liked those products for a long time. They did change them a little bit and I still think they're great. Um, and of course, Issa Laurent has just came out, or now Saint Laurent has come out with new shades of their eyeshadows, which I have picked up and hopefully we'll have for you soon to review. Merit. Merit is a, is a brand that I haven't really, to be honest, been following as closely as I should have. I do have Merit products. Um, I started using them when they first came out. I really like their, their highlighter. This is in Kava. It's like really one of my new favorite things. I like their lip balms. I like their lip glosses. I actually just picked up another product from them that's relatively new to try, test that out for you. If you haven't tried Merit and you're somebody who especially who likes uh, clean beauty, simple beauty, easy beauty, you should try Merit. It's, it's one of those brands that I think is, uh, I think it's actually, I think it's actually worth it. We're saving the, the big, the big brands for the end. Um, we have Queen Musia, which I haven't talked too much about because I don't have too many products, but the lipstick, the matte lipsticks are extremely good. These are made in Italy. Um, the company is out of Beverly Hills. I would strongly suggest picking these up if you're looking for a comfortable matte lipstick, which is you know, something I didn't think I would ever say because if you've watched me for a while, you know I'm not a matte lipstick girl. Uh, Ada is my favorite. Um, this is uh, the shade Ada. It's great. These last, they're comfortable. They they stay on, they look beautiful. They don't settle into lines. Like I have nothing bad to say about their, their lipsticks. They're absolutely, absolutely excellent. Ilia, these are the new like comfort pencils. They basically are a lipstick, lip pencil. It's well, they're a little thicker than a lip liner and they're a little bit thinner than like a typical lip crayon, like the Sweet Beauty one, for example. Um, you can see this is a much bigger product. Uh, this is also glossy, but you get the gist. But I'll just tell you, I really love these lip pencils. I brought them to DC with me. They don't melt in the heat. They stay on all day. I had no problems with them. They work beautifully. I love the shades. I'm going to buy more. Tear Tear. Um, tear Tear, by the way, I found, and I'm gonna, I gotta go hunt it down has a foundation just like this, but it's blue. And the blue one supposedly brings your body temperature down. Supposedly the exact same foundation is supposed to stay on your skin, all those good things, but it somehow makes your face feel cooler. I must find it and I must buy it. And I will let you know how that goes because that sounds like right up my alley. Uh, Lisa Eldridge came out with two new products that have become, one is definitely a holy grail, this is her foundation. Uh, it's an action out foundation, skin enhancer. It's what I'm wearing right now. I wear it practically every single day. I wear it in DC. I wear it everywhere. It's T3. I use T1 under my eyes. It's the best product ever. I, I don't know how I lived without it before. I haven't even reached for everything else that I have. I love a lot of other foundations, like the Sweet Beauty one's really good, and I'll talk about another one in a minute that's great. And I love the Chanel one, but this, for me, is perfection. I don't need anything else. Uh, and then, of course, her her new glossy lips. I really, really like these. Um, I'm going to have a video very soon that com like compares these and the E. Saint Laurent and a whole bunch of others. I'm not going to say they're holy grail like the foundation just because I haven't stopped using every other lip product since I've had these. However, they are really good. They're very comfortable. I really do like them. They are very sheer products. They are not meant for somebody who's looking for a lot of pigment. That's just not what they are. Uh, but if you're like me and you really love a very expensive lip balm or a glossy lip balm and an expensive one at that, that's a great product. Um, when I get into the, the differences between the different products that are out there, like the E. Saint Laurent versus the you know, Chantecaille, et cetera, et cetera, um, you can get a better idea of why I like one more than the other. But the Lisa Eldridge ones, are they're really good. But they are a glossy lip balm. I mean, that's really, it's it's not really more complicated than that. Excellent product. 
Clay Pro came out with their single eyeshadows, and again, this video is coming soon. I do have a shade on today, not this shade, but these are great, great products. If you're looking for a single eyeshadow that you can put all over your eye, that lasts all day, does not accentuate texture, will not settle into lines, and you're looking for something like one and done perfection, those are them. They are great. They are a combination of the primer that they have in their new eyeshadow uh, quads and a shadow. So they're like a little bit soft. They create a priming base and the shade. They are not super pigmented. Uh, they're not meant to be. And they're for people who look, in my opinion, they're looking for a one and done. I gotta go. They're fantastic. They are excellent. They are unusual formulas. Anybody out there who has eye problems, eye sensitivities, uh, very textured eyes, heavy eyes, those are the ones you want. That's my opinion, but they're excellent. NARS. NARS came out with um, a new powder, which I have not tried yet, which I definitely want to try, um, and a reformulation of their uh, blush. I actually think it's a very good. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the reformulations that are going on these days just to make everything clean. I understand why I understand why it's popular, and I won't get into that here, like a discussion about why it's good or bad, whatever. But I don't love just clean. I don't love changing formula just to change formula and say it's clean. That thing kind of bothers me. But the new formulation is actually very good. The blushes feel great. Uh, they wear really well, and they look nice on the skin. Natasha Denona, Golden. I did do a video with this. I did not pick up the the blush or the lip thing. Here's the thing, guys. It's a really good palette. Natasha Denona does great formulas when she does her mini palettes, right? They're really, really good. I have nothing bad to say about this palette except to say I don't think you need it if you have the gold palette. Um, I don't think you need it. I don't think you need any of this, but if you're going to look for a palette and you want something that has like golden shades, yeah, this is a really good one. It's very pretty. The formula is great. It looks great on the eye. Love it. But again, you probably have it. <laughs> if, you, if you've been buying makeup for a while, you have it. Uh, RMS Beauty. RMS Beauty, I need to reach out to because I really want to get uh, a lot more products and I can't afford to buy everything all at once. The new bronzer, Beach Walk Betty. If you're somebody like me that uh, likes a cool tone bronzer and you're pale, Beach Walk Betty. This is a really, really good bronzer. I just picked up a new bronzer, by the way, which isn't really, really new, new, but it's new to me and I, I knew it was on the market before, but I never picked it up because I thought it would be too deep. It looks good. In fact, I have it on my face today and I think you guys are going to be interested in it. So stay for, tuned for that. That's coming. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. Uh, it's, it's nice. Fluorasis. Fluorasis sends me things from time to time, which I really do appreciate. And honestly, guys, they have good products. Um, there's a couple of things that I really like by them. Uh, I like their powders probably more than anything else. Their lip products are really good too. A uh, number of things here I've tried out, the lip products, um, powders, eyeshadows. Their powder is really, really good, especially the one that has like a little bit of a lavender tint to it. I really, really like that. This was the Nomad collection, I think. Um, and like this powder that's in here, this press powder, it's, it's an excellent press powder. I also like the colors, I will admit, because I like the blue. Uh, but if you haven't tried Fluorasis, uh, give them a chance because I think their their powder products are really excellent. I think they do a really good job with quality and the presentation is pretty impressive actually, um, I have to say. Dior. Okay, so Dior came out with a bunch of different things. They have a collection coming up that I will order and I actually really like the packaging. It's that French, I forget the name of it. If I can put up a picture, I will, but I'm not sure I'm allowed to. Uh, but I really like it and it's actually... I might be able to get it sooner than I thought I was gonna get. Uh, yeah, I won't go into it now. But the point is, I really like the design. We'll see if I like the products, the actual formula. Overall, I can just tell you, I don't like the formulations as much. I think for like for the most part, they they made it worse. The new eyeshadows, however, uh, Rose Tool is actually a new favorite of mine. Love it. The bronze maximizer I have on my lips right now, absolutely amazing. The bronze. Um, Glow, Dior, it swatches weird, but it looks fantastic on the skin. So I would, uh, I would certainly recommend the bronze one. I think it's, I think it's really, really good. Um, I really, really like it. And then the ones that came out for summer, the uh, Coral Flame and Pastel Glow, the eyeshadows, I think they were very pretty actually. Um, they're not my favorites, but I think they are very nice. I like the pastel colors. Again, though, I like the old Dior formula so much more for the eyeshadows that it's hard for me to get up here and be like, oh yeah, it's great, because I really just, I think they went down instead of up. Um, but like I said, the the bronze and the coral and the lilac and the maximizers that go with them, I think they're all good. 
I really do. I think they're great. They don't swatch as nicely as they should, but, uh, but they look great on the skin. So, you know, I gotta give it that. Makeup by Mario. Guys, if you have not tried out this product, just try it. So, okay. This is the Soft Sculpt. Now, I actually have it in two shades now. I have fair and light. I have light on today. I think this is an amazing product. Now, I know, you know, again, no product is for everyone. I've heard from people that are like, oh, it doesn't show up on me. It doesn't... I, I would disagree strongly with anyone on that, though. I think this is a great product. One, it's got two ways of using it. So you've got the doe foot that goes like this. So if you want to use the doe foot and place it on your skin for, like, particular parts of your skin, uh, which I do a lot for, like, you know, contouring or something, and it has a pump. So that in and of itself I think is awesome. They're glowy products. They give your skin like warmth and glow and healthiness, um, but they're not, not that cheap glow, you know, that glow that makes you look just shiny. Like they're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I agree with you. They're not super pigmented. They're not like a super deep contour, but I don't think that's what they're meant to be. Um, I just think they make your skin look fantastic, whether you use it all over your face or like I've been doing in particular areas as more of a brawn tour contour kind of thing. I love these products and Makeup by Mario. Mario did, in my opinion, this is one of his best products ever. I absolutely love it. Okay, Tom Ford. Tom Ford came out with the Soleil collection and I actually like the Soleil collection. Uh, I do have the highlighter on today. Um, I do think it's a very pretty highlighter. I think it looks great on the skin. Tom Ford makes good products, guys. I mean, not all the time anymore, but he does. Uh, the brand does. I, I like I like the the new collection. I loved this quad. I think the green in here is beautiful. Uh, maybe it's not green enough for some folks, but I really liked it. The lipsticks I thought were great. I thought they were perfect for summer. They're bright. They're pretty. They they stay on. They're you know really good formula. I, I really, I loved that entire collection. I thought the Soleil collection was one of his best in a very long time. This is the Liquid Lip Blush, which is basically the same product as the Balm, but in a, you know, a liquid form. And the thing about this product on me, again, on other people I've seen it and it looks fine. On me, it goes a yucky pink. It's just not, a, it's, it doesn't want to do it on my hand as much as it does on my lip, but it's just not a good pink for me. Uh, the, the Prada pink is fantastic. The Tom Ford pink, not so much. The, just, it just isn't, uh, I just don't like it. The packaging that he did for the cream blush, this deep, I love this type of packaging. He's done this a couple times. There was a lipstick years ago that I absolutely, um, what was it? It was for one, it's like a, a tie into one of the, um, tie into one of the, the perfumes. But this blush, I love this blush. I think this is a great blush. It does look different than it does on, on uh, uh, in pictures. This is the Cafe blush. Love this. I really do. I think that's a great product. I think um, that might be in my end of the year best. Um, so far, absolutely love it. Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana came out with a bunch of great stuff this year and uh, they rebranded their brand, their makeup. So you have the Fig Kit, uh, Skin Perfector. You have the new uh, Tinted Moisturizer. This is the one I was talking about. I like this one, the Blueberry Tint. I think it looks really good on. I like the way it wears. It's a little bit more coverage. Um, I like the product. It's just, I keep reaching for the Lisa Eldridge, so I don't know what to tell you guys, but it is a good product. I really like it. I don't see anything. I can't, there's nothing wrong with it. The powder. It is not the other powder. <laughs> um, you know, here's the problem, right? If you find something that is perfection, the solar glow power powder, and then you compare it, it's not the same. It's not as good, in my opinion. But it's a really good powder. Um, I think, I don't know if the solar glow powder is gone, gone, and never coming to the United States. So if this is, this is a second best kind of thing, I do think it's a really good powder. It's a nice highlight. It, it gives the skin a nice, healthy glow, but it's, but it's mattifying at the same time. I do really like it. It's just the solar glow is better. Um, the blush I have on now, this is my favorite shade from them. Um, this is the mauve shade. I, I am wearing that today. I really think this is an excellent blush. It's creamy, it's comfortable. Again, great on more mature skin. I think it's definitely pigmented. Um, very, very fond of it. Really, really like it. And I feel like their bronzer is also amazing formula. Um, the shade isn't my favorite, um, but 
I think the formula is outstanding. Uh, I have mine in light medium, which is 02. I think I need to get it like maybe a 04. It's a little too warm for me, but the, the product itself, the formulation is really, really good. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, again, I have to, I have to try to see if I can find it for somewhere. I love this lip oil. Not everybody loves it. I think it's, I think it has something to do with the blue color. I have to be honest, but I like the doe foot. I like the way it feels, you know, doe foot's just kind of cool. Um, I like it. I mean, again, it's a personal preference. It does have a scent. It's like a mint. I like it. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a good lip oil, but it's a lip oil. We've had this conversation, right? Like I love an expensive lip oil. I love an expensive lip balm, but that's not for everybody because you can buy these things for like five dollars and uh at target and you know they're probably about the same but not the same scents or the same ingredients but you're gonna get a similar look and probably a similar feel uh, but if you're like me and you really love you know a, a bougie lip balm or lip oil then go for it that's my opinion uh anyway so the dolce collection the dolce collection in general i think is a great start for them i really loved most of what they came out with i just feel like there's some products i like a little bit more or, you know, I, I reach for a little bit more, except for the blush. The blush I love. Um, the, fa the bronzer would be a favorite favorite because the formula is perfect. I just haven't found the right color yet. Chanel. Chanel? <laughs> Chanel. Uh, look, I, I am really looking forward to the fall Chanel. And it's coming soon. In fact, I've already seen it. Like, I've, I've seen swatches. The eye products, guys, they're exactly, well, I shouldn't say the same. They looked, they look to be the same as the ones that I have from 10 years ago, but different shades. I am thrilled. Cannot wait, to, cannot wait to try them. I'm very excited. The single shadows, love the single shadows. I don't think they're as good as the clay to pose, but the difference is there's like way more shades, way more formulas, and they're really good. So I have all of them. I bought all the Chanel single shadows, which I never do because I'm not a single shadow girl. So that just shows you. I, I really like them. The lilac and the um, reddish brown mascaras, I found a way to make them work and I found a way to, that they actually look quite nice on me, but they're not things that I would be like, yes, you must have those because let's be honest, mascara is meant to lengthen and deepen your eyelashes and if you go with any color other than like a dark brown or black brown, whatever you know your thing is, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so for me, it kind of defeats the purpose of a mascara. I'm not saying people who do, who do a blue or purple or whatever, that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying for me, it's not worth, you know, if I'm figuring out where I'm gonna spend my money, I'm not gonna spend my money there. But the way that it works for me is to do like the purple or the gray or the blue or the red or whatever it is on the bottom lashes with a corresponding shade and that works for me. The La Beige's Healthy Glow Sun to Kiss Powder. Light Coral, Deep Mauve, and uh, Medium Rose. Can I tell you my favorite one is, is the Deep Mauve. I don't know why, but I think it's because it's the coolest one, like coolest in nature. This works for me. I really like it. Now, I have to use it sparingly. I can't use it. I have to go in with a light hand. Um, but yeah, I really like this. The other ones I think are okay, but I don't really like the shades as much. And the smell in here reminds me of old Chanel, and I do like that. So I actually do really like it. I do use it, but again, I have to be light-handed with it. Okay, guys, that is a wrap up of pretty much everything I tried and uh, as quickly as I could possibly do it. <sighs> Let me know if you like this formula, this format better than best and worst. Uh, I can literally go through everything and let you guys know. I can also do a best and worst of uh, summer if you want to see it. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.